what is up guys welcome back to another video it's gonna be a video kind of just going over how to build gear with you with you guys pretty much like an actual gear analyzer we finally got a, a gear analyzer and a gear builder online to actually build our gear and finally find out like the calculations and like all the details on running like certain gear and certain perks and, and subs and specials and stuff like that so like mains and subs and like that type of stuff with our gear so i'm gonna be talking about that in this video if you guys i'm assuming most of you guys know how to build gear and that's what i'm this video is going to mainly be for i'm not going to go into like how to roll for gear and then like scrub your gear and try to get uh shard or not shards uh i think they're shards or ability chunks i know i call them shards but they're they're ability chunks and how to get enough ability chunks to actually put gear together and stuff like that I'm assuming most of you guys know how to do that. It's pretty easy to do. Just keep on it. The, the ability chunks that you do get after you scrub your gear, just save them. And then you can build your own gear. And this is kind of how to do it. Pretty much building a gear for a specific weapon or for like a specific team or that type of stuff. I'm going to be going over like a couple examples in this video. Just talking about like at least for like weapons that I would build. Like how I would build gear and stuff like that. So... That being said, let's hop right in this. So if you guys like these types of videos, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. I also do have a Discord. If you guys want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description. And I also do stream Splatoon 3. We're going to be live later this weekend with some Splatoon 3 Splatfest, which is this weekend. So if you guys want to stop by, I'm on Team Gear. So if anybody if that's on Team Gear wants to stop by and hop, hop in for some uh, viewer games on stream live, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss when we are live. And uh, to hop right into this. So if you guys don't know what this is, I'll throw it on screen right now for you guys. This, this is a, a Splatoon 3 gear analyzer. Now, this is the first Splatoon 3 gear analyzer I think we actually have. All the other ones are for Splatoon 2 or they're way outdated. This is the most recent one. I think the only one, at least, that we have right now, at least that I know of, that actually is up to date, has everything, and has pretty much almost all the stuff that you would really need. I will leave a link to this down in the description. It's, it's sendout.inc. If you guys know who Sendow is, he's actually a former, I think he's, I'm not sure if he's still a pro player. I think he's a former pro player. I know he used to be a pro player back in Splatoon 2 or like early days of Splatoon 2. I don't, I haven't followed him for a while, but I follow like his developments on his website and stuff like, which is this. So if you guys want to go check it out for yourselves, I'll leave a link in the description to you guys and go check out the site and go over there and build your gear for yourselves. Now, pretty much what this is, what you guys want to do with gear you want to know the actual like stats on your gear that's mainly what this is for whether or not for example like at least for me like we, you got all the weapons here as well like he has all the weapons in here like for me at least i, I play blaster so we're going to start out with that and i'm going to kind of go and make a build f live with you guys just explaining my thought process and why i would going to be doing stuff and why i'm adding certain things to my gear and stuff at least, and that kind of fits my play style Keep in mind, like, you can build anything you want. This is just mainly to see the numbers. It's mainly for stuff, like, if you want to build gear and you want, like, a main of, like, for example, like, Ink Saver main, but you don't know, like, how much Ink Saver that's going to give you and how much extra value that's going to get over, like, two subs or something and to see, like, the actual value that gives you. That's kind of what a gear calculator is for, to show you the raw data and the raw numbers for your gear builds and how many subs or mains of an ability or abilities on a, on a gear piece like the actual numbers of how much it benefits you or like how, how it doesn't benefit you and there's maybe different ways to actually put like abilities on on your gear that you can get more value or less value and there's diminishing returns and stuff like that so that being said i play blaster so I'm going to build a, a build with you guys that something I would kind of run probably just pay us off my play style. Like we got a bunch of stuff here, everything with your main weapon. Like it depends on what weapon you play as well. If you can break it down into whatever weapon you want to play, all the weapons are here. That's updated for patch 1.1, which is the most recent one that got thrown up. I think about a week ago. So sub weapons, you got a bunch of sub weapon stuff. You got your special charge. If you want to run special charge up, it'll show you, it shows your base numbers for everything that you have before and after if you start adding mains and subs of an ability to your gear which is really cool your sub weapon defense that type of stuff uh, 
pretty much all the abilities, ink mines, point sensors, splash walls, depending on what your, what your weapon has, or what like you're going against, just to see how much value you're, you're going to be getting if you run that type of stuff on your gear. Damage, like here's the damage, it shows damage for your weapon, splash damage, the auto bomb damage, and the auto bomb splash damage in most cases, and stuff like that, so, and then... This here is where you got without an auto bomb with with no, nothing. It's pretty much this is what this pretty much is. This is your, your pretty much like your ink, your full tank of ink without like any gear on at all. You have ten shots before you completely run out of ink. You throw one auto bomb, you got four and a half shots before you're pretty much empty on ink. So that that'll actually change. Like for an example, I'll put up a sub a, a sub saver for that right now, and then I'm gonna scroll back down to it again. And that, like right now, like now with one main of sub saber, now instead of 0. 0.4.5 shots, now I got five shots after I throw an auto bomb. So it goes up a little bit with one main of sub sub saber, which isn't really that good. But just kind of an example for you guys. Keep in mind as well, this entire website is there is it's kind of buggy. There's some bugs, at least that's what he said. It's going to be continually getting updated, and he's going to be fixing some of the bugs and all that type of stuff. So. If you guys run into bugs or issues with the website, I think one of the main issues right now with the website is every time you click on an ability, it'll put you back at the top of the page when you're trying to look at the bottom of the page. That's hopefully that gets fixed. I'm assuming it will in the future. That, at least that's my only problem with this because every time I put an ability and I'm, I'm looking at something down here, it, it'll scroll me back up to the top of the page, which sucks, but like that type of stuff. Then you got movement, which is like your swim speed, like your base speed with ninja squid. With the weapon you're carrying, every weapon has a different type of speed that you swim with and walk with. Some of your your like backline weapons, like your chargers and stuff, they have a higher, a slower swim speed, and your lighter weapons have that you move a lot faster in ink and, and running. Every weapon has a different type of swim speed and run speed, so that kind of shows it here with with ninja squid and like your base swim speed before anything. Your super jump from squid squid surge, you got your frames with with squid surge. Um, ink resistance, that type of stuff, damage, frames, that type of stuff, like really cool stuff, like a lot of really cool stuff. And then you got your ink tank recovery time for like stuff with like ink, um, ink recovery, that type of stuff, quick respawn, how it affects you with a uh, respawn punisher. And then you got your quick super jump with, if you want to run super jump speed in your builds, which we'll be talking about. So overall, really cool. Really, really cool. There's a lot of stuff here, and there's going to be getting a lot more stuff added. So let's hop right into this, just kind of just explaining it for you guys so you guys know what's going on and, like, what kind of stuff there really is here. You guys can check it out for yourself. If you guys have played Splatoon 2 and even, like, Splatoon 1, you guys pr probably know the majority of this stuff. There's a few different abilities that are new to this game, but the majority of them are the same, so shouldn't be that difficult to find out. And if you guys have any questions, if I don't explain anything, let me know in the comments. I'll be responding to pretty much all the comments if you guys have any questions or anything. So, for a blast, like, there's no clothing here, but, like, these are just your ability. These question marks are your ability slots on all your gear. You have all these on all three pieces of your gear. For blaster, usually what I run with blaster is I like to run main, main saver. So, I got one main of main saver, of ink saver main. So, now what it's going to tell me is that um, I think it's down here is where it's going to tell me. So, like, right here, now, like, now I have Ink Saver main, like, without any throwing of, like, any of my subs, like, out throwing an auto bomb or anything, like, now with one main of Ink Saver main, before it was 10 shots, remember when we talked about before it was 10 shots, with one main of Ink Saver main, now I have 11 point and a half shots before my ink taking is, is completely empty, so... Gives me some pretty good value. I get one extra shot with one ink saver main, which is really cool. Usually, like what I do with blaster, I just run like entirely. I run like an entire piece of clothing, like an entire piece with like ink saver main. Anyways, that's usually what I do. I have a main and three subs. With a main and three subs, I know it's kind of boring, but like even with that, like I got thirteen point one three, so about thir little tiny bit over thirteen shots with a main and three subs, so that kind of ties in. Then if I throw an auto bomb, the remaining in my ink tank, I'll have about almost six shots. 
So around about six shots estimated. So that ain't too bad. Like say if I want to run something else, not like usually what else I'd run one want to run with blaster. Like I really like swim speed. So here's my swim speed stuff without running any type of swim speed. It's 1.92 and 0.96 is for run speed and that type of stuff. So now I'm going to add swim speed to this. I wish you can like drag and drag these over too. Like that would be one thing if I don't know if Sendo watches my videos too, but like some more up like feedback for the website, being able to drag the icons up here instead of having to click on them and being able to just like go on them and remove them, just drag them off of the, the question marks to delete them instead of having to click on the icon and being able to delete, just having to delete all those that way. Just making it a little bit more easier to put the icons on the builds and deleting them from the builds. I think that'd be really easy. A little bit easier too. That'd be some good feedback. I don't know if he watched my videos or not, but if he does, he happens to catch this. That'd be really cool. Now, right here, like right here is my base, is 1.92. With my build with one main of swim speed up, I, I go from 1.92 up to 2.07. So I get a little bit more swim speed, about a little bit faster. So I'm a little bit faster there, about point, I don't know, I'd say point like. 10 of a second, something like that, roughly. Now I'm just going to run. Usually I just run, like, I think a main and three subs. That, like, my builds are pretty easy. I have some pretty easy builds, usually for blaster. I have I play some other weapons once in a while that I'll have a little bit more diverse builds. But, like, my blaster builds are pretty easy. At least that's what I usually like to run, something like this. But, like, mainly as an example. Like, now with, with a main and three subs, I went up to 2.17. So... Kinda, that's pretty much what how you really can tell, like the actual value you're getting out of the, uh, out of your stuff, so. And then, like, as my last one, like, main saver, like, I can run main saver pretty much with re respawn punisher, it's 50%. With, I think, respawn, with, with my build, I lose only 29% with a main of special saver, which is really cool. And I can add two more, like, I'm gonna add two more right now. It's going down to only like 18%. So with a main and three subs of special saver, I only lose 18.7% of of my uh, special. So normally you lose half of it. So if you get splattered and you have your alt and your special, you, you lose half automatically if you don't use it. With a main and three subs, you only lose 18.7%. So you still have around about a little less than about 15%. Like, you're around about 72% or something of your alt, which is crazy good, which is really good considering a main and three subs, which is pretty damn good. Even with just, like, one main would be really cool. But, like, overall, that's just, like, a really easy build. Like, there's a lot more diverse ones, but, like, this is, this is kind of just something I run for a lot of my gear. I'm not really one of those people that really builds, like, an incredibly, like, in-depth gear with, like, a bunch of different mains and subs. I know there's stuff, like, diminishing returns and stuff if you run more than i think two or three on the same build or like the same piece of gear or something i think they have diminishing returns or something like that. i don't know how it 100 works in this game but i know there is diminishing returns so if you run more of like the same thing it doesn't do as much and in the effect kind of diminishes over time with more that you're the more the gear pieces are like the more abilities that you have on it in your build so i don't know you also got a really cool thing with uh down here with Tacticooler, which is really cool. You can actually see Tacticooler and ability points with like everything ability, like with Tacticooler, like everything. So if you're you're under under the effects of Tacticooler, you get all this other extra stuff. You can kind of put that into your build too, and that take that in consideration. Like the effects of your build plus the effects of everything with with being under Tacticooler and having that going as an alt or like at some of their team's alt or your own. So that's really cool. Now for this, I'm gonna actually change this. We're gonna switch this to a, uh, I'm gonna go Hydra Splatling because I'm gonna make a build for that real quick just to show you guys like something a little bit different for like a different type of weapon. Like I said, come on here guys and, and experiment. You guys don't know what you're missing out on. It's really, really handy. And one of the coolest things we've gotten for the, the launch of the game, really cool website. And really waiting for a, a brand new build analyzer too. It's 
it's been a long time. I don't think, like I said, I don't think there's actually like a, a updated one up, up until now. At least when I'm making this, it was this was actually put up about a day ago. I just couldn't record it any sooner. So now this is the Hydra Splatling. the The weight is heavy. There is a weight for every weapon. Like I said, certain weapons move faster or slower depending on what weapon they are. So. Pretty much it shows you the, the degrees, like whatever weapon you have as well, like your main weapons and stuff, it'll it'll show you. Like it shows you all the different stuff. If you have different types of weapons, this will all be different. Like my blaster was different and stuff, that type of stuff. Like I guess with blaster too, I'd maybe run like tenacity, probably some tenacity on blaster too. I forgot about that. I was maybe going to run some tenacity, but I forgot about that, but that's fine. That's what this, this thing is for, to see, see your numbers and what's worth and not worth running on a gear build before you actually make it in game or once you do make it in game to see the exact numbers you're getting so now we can actually delete all this type of stuff get rid of all this so it goes all the way back to default so like with default this is what you have velocity that type of stuff so you got your degrees and your shot spread from jumping Three degrees, whatever. I don't really know how that really affects in a game. I'm not 100 sure. Um, like your special, you got 190 on booyah bomb, that type of stuff. Your that type of stuff. It's pretty much the same thing. Like here's your damage numbers. Four hits to just to kill somebody. Your auto bomb does 180. That type of stuff. The same thing, pretty much. Right here's your your swim speed at base. It's a lot lower. Because you're using a heavy weapon. I'm not sure what the blaster was. I think that was a medium weapon, I think. I, I forgot to look. But you're, you're moving a lot faster. Your base run speed is a 0.88 per frame. And with a build, I don't have anything. So Usually with the splatlings, you want to run run speed. So I'm going to throw some run speed on here just, just to see how much that actually does. And then I don't think it's actually updating. Did it actually update or is it... I don't know if it actually updated. I don't know if it actually updated y'all. I think the, the site, either that or I'm not paying attention. Like I'll, I'll put it here again. 1.29 is what it was. I don't think it's updating. I don't know why that, that, that might be a bug. That might actually be a bug. I'm not sure. But, but swim speed, will swim speed update or is that bug too? I think that's bugged. 0.28. Yeah, it's bugged, so. I don't know. Hey, the site's bugged now. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's just not updating. I'm not 100% sure, but... Well, now it updated. This was a point two eight, so now it updated, I think. I'm not sure how that... I don't know. Like I said, the site is still pretty buggy, so I'm not 100% sure how it actually worked. I don't know. Now it updated. It was point two eight, two point two something. I don't know. I'm going to try to add run speed again, see if it works. Now it's 2.29, so now it's updating again, so I, I don't know. Either that or I was just stupid and it was updating and I just wasn't paying attention, so I don't know. But now it's updating, so you do move a lot faster now, so... Like with run speed, a main and three run speeds, you do move a lot faster now, so I, that's... Base is 0.88, and, with a, and then with your build, it's now 1.29, which is a lot faster. I wouldn't run this much run speed, I only run like maybe a main and a sub, that's what I would really run. I'm not really that much of a fan of run speed. I do think it's necessary, but I don't think it's that necessary at all. Again, it didn't update again, so I don't know what that is. It was just, it's the same with, with other... It should have went back down. I don't know if it doesn't update for some reason. I think that's a bug. Like, for that, then I'd, I'd probably run, like, two Ink Saver mains as, like, an example for this. So, right here, where's the... Uh, so like with Ink Saver main, I forgot what it was at the start, but I think what was it? It was 3.35, and then with Ink Saver main, I think it's a little bit more. I forgot what it was without without that. Let's check with that what it was without 2.85, so or 2.86. So with two subs of main saver, you go up to. 3.35 full charges, and then if you can have one and a half charges with an, if you throw an auto bomb, so pretty good, not too bad, pretty good. 
I don't know. I usually like respawn Punisher on like a backline weapons. Usually that's what you run co pretty common on backline weapons. I run respawn Punisher. You lose a lot more alt because if you do have respawn Punisher, then you lose a lot more of your alt. But this is just an example. Usually, at least me personally, I don't run respawn Punisher, but a lot of people on their backline weapons usually like to. This is kind of just an example to see, show you guys what it really does. You lose 72.5% of your alt if you do die. But if you also, if you kill somebody, they also lose that amount. So it's kind of a trade-off. If you are if you can not die the entire game, you can just kill a lot more stuff than you do, than you die. It's a pretty good trade-off. But if you're feeding the entire game and you're getting shit on the entire game, it's not really that good. And you have to waste an entire main ability for that as well. I, usually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put on uh, three... Um, all charge up, so you go from 190 with three subs, you go to 176, which ain't too bad. It's pretty damn good. And then I don't know. I usually I don't even know what I run as. What I'd even run as like a a last, like a last one, probably like a main of ink recovery, which I don't know what it was to start with, but now it's I think it was three seconds. Now it's 2.868, which is pretty good. And then I don't know. You can probably run whatever you want here, at least just for like like an example. I would run like Object Strider is really cool too. We got out talk about Object Strider here after this, but like quick super jump just for example. As like a back type line type weapon. Like squid surge or squid surge. Like here's here's your super jump down here. I was looking at the wrong thing. Like down here is your super jump. So base super jump time is usually like almost two times the amount. With three subs of quick super jump, you're down to 1.95, which is huge, which is almost cut in half, actually, which is really cool. And then super jump and vulnerability frames, you usually have 80 before you're able to even do anything before you land. With this build, you only have 20, so that's huge. You get a lot of value out of three subs of quick quick super jump, which is another thing to calculate, which is why you need this, these type of things. Sometimes, like, abilities like Quick Super Jump, and especially stuff like like Special Saver, and there's a few other things in the game, too, that maybe sometimes it's better only instead of running three subs, you're better off getting more value out of, like, just running two subs of, of a, like, a certain ability just because you get more value with two than you kind of do with three because of diminishing returns. That's why this is really good, too, to find the actual numbers. Quick Super Jump, you get a lot of value out of. You always have Got a lot of value out of that type of ability, so I think they buffed it back in Splatoon 2 at some point a long, long time ago. So, and then Object Shredder, which is really cool. Uh, if you guys don't know what Object Shredder does, Object Shredder is actually, uh, I think it's actually really underrated right now, which pretty much what it does, it's, let's take this off here, put Object Shredder on there. I don't know if there's actually anything here that can actually show you anything for Object Shredder with what it actually does. I really don't think it, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think that's even on here yet. I think that's going to be updated. Hopefully that's added at some point. But like the damage you do with object shredder to objects. Pretty much what it is. I think why it's really good right now. And why you want to even run it. Mainly on like a backline type weapon. Or something that can kind of just do a lot of damage really fast. Crab's really common right now. With crab that has a base of 600 health. And you're usually going to. I think that with object shredder. Which counts as an object. I think it puts it down to like 200 something health, which is crazy. It cuts it in more than half with Object Shredder. So, like, just for like Crab, which is a really common special, Splash Wall, Sprinklers, Big Bubbler. There's a few other things in the game that I'm not naming off the top of my head that are also deployables and are, are effective by o Object Shredder. But I do think if you want a really cool ability to run on your gear, at least currently, that I think is really underrated and not many people are actually building. It's Object Shredder. Just because Crab is so common and, and Big Bubbler and Splash Wall are pretty damn common too right now. Sprinklers, eh, they're really easy to destroy anyways. There's a few other things I'm not thinking of off the top of my head, but that type of stuff pretty much. I don't think it affects Tactical. I don't think you can actually destroy a Tactical or anything. There's a few other things. I think Rainmaker Shield as well. If you're playing Rainmaker, it also allows you to break the shield a lot easier for your team. So that's another thing I, I almost forgot. There's a few other things too If I that I'm forgetting. If you guys know, let me know in the comments or let everybody know. But I don't know. Hopefully this helps you guys.
kind of some some base builds and kind of how to build a build for you and like i said it depends on the player and your your play style like for me i'm a pretty simple play style i kind of just run like a lot of the same stuff and i can usually kind of swap my gear in between weapons because i kind of play a lot of the same things i usually play blasters i, I play a couple backline weapons play a couple dualies or from that i don't really play that much to stuff where i need like a dedicated build for at least for right now so uh, for a lot of other people though they have different play styles if like every weapon and everything they want different builds for individual weapons that's what this comes in handy for and just to seeing like the actual raw numbers of what you're getting from your abilities your means and your subs of abilities so if this guy this helped let me know in the comments down below leave a like subscribe share the video like i said i'll have a link to this website in the comments down or the description not the comments the description you guys can go check it out I think as well, you can also log in with your Discord on this website. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. And you can actually keep your builds and save like your, your loadout builds. I think with like an account, log in through your Discord, I think. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't tried that. Now, you don't need that to actually make a build. But if you want to save them, I think that's something he might implement in the future. I'm not sure. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Hopefully this could help you. And... I know it's kind of a longer video, there was a lot to talk about, but I think this is one of those videos I've been waiting to, a while to make just because we have, have not had an updated like gear calculator for Splatoon 3 yet. So hopefully this helped you guys, and I'll see you guys in a future video.